today i'm going to share with you my tools and tech that i use on a daily basis as a product designer in a saas company now these are no fancy tools that you see on youtube this is my actual tech stack that i use on a daily basis that helps me be more productive and efficient starting off from the design and execution tools figma is the one that i spend most of my day on when i'm designing now in 2025 if you are not using figma i'm not sure what you use for designing yes adobe was the king back in the days but figma came out really really well and currently it's the time for figma and yes there are other tools that are coming into the market that are giving a tough competition to figma but i don't think they can replace figma for now and figma is the priority when it comes to design and developers collaboration Apart from that if you want to brainstorm you can use Figjam if you want to make a presentation that you can use slide as well cause you can literally use Figma as paint as well moving to the next tool i am using framer for web design and development now i made my portfolio and my company's full website in framer and i am the complete owner of the website there are no developers no interaction designers involved and i am the sole designer and the developer of the website Now this tool is so good and it is evolving so fast that I am seeing the front end development completely being removed from the web design and development scenario. The interface of Framer is completely like Figma and you can easily use it just like you use Figma. Now you don't have to communicate with the developers that I want this kind of animation or I want to remove this section or that. Now the whole process of design to development actually used to take almost a week. but now if you want to publish a website you are just one click away now there are so many companies that have moved their full fledged website from development to a no code development website now believe me or not but i guess we all have seen some leaked images of figma that they are introducing a new feature of no code development and with that i am sure that the web design and development scene is completely going to change in the next couple of months Now let's move to a not so design application. I'm using the Concepts app in my iPad to sketch out wireframes and take meeting notes. Whenever a new feature comes out from the stakeholder side, I first of all write it down in Concepts, then brainstorm for a little while, and when I get some idea, I sketch out the wireframes before diving into Figma. Now, this might look like this is not a big deal, but sketching out wireframes is one of the most important parts in my design process and i never ever skip it now let's move to the research part and take a look at the text tag that i use for research first of all i am using google analytics to track the user behavior what is the feature they are using the most how they are moving inside the application and what is the audience demographic and much more Now this tool has helped me a lot when it comes to tracking behavior of users inside the product that I have designed and make changes accordingly. Second application that I'm using is Microsoft Clarity. User steps tracking has helped me a lot when it comes to getting more users and getting more conversions as well. If I want to see the full funnel of the user, I can easily access it in Microsoft Clarity. I can see which button they are clicking the most and do changes accordingly to get more conversions in the website. The third tool that I use for research is Ahrefs and it is one of the most underrated tool in the website development scene. This tool helps me check the overall performance of the website and check which keywords are performing better than the others, which helps me in making the website more indexable. I'm sure you are a great designer and you can dive right into Figma, start designing and you can design amazing products. But personally, I think that brainstorming is one of the things that you should be doing before diving into Figma and you can design even better products. I start off with Dribble to get some inspiration how people are designing the products and check out the features and the details of those products. Now Dribble has some cool shots that might not be realistic but the product designs in dribble are so good and many people have done a great job designing products with great information and real life application as well with that i am using mobin to check out how brands are actually designing their products and apply ux principles now let's move to my ai tech stack i am using chat gpt for a long time now and i have trained it with whatever i need i have different chats assigned for different tasks either it be website or the product itself 
I have a chat that is specially trained that helps me with anything related to design. I generally use it to help me brainstorm about the new feature or provide it a screenshot to help me make it better. Not only that, in the past I have asked ChatGPT to make a full-fledged case study for me as well. Apart from ChatGPT, I am using Grok AI. I'm still experimenting with the capabilities of Grok AI and I might shift to Grok in the future as the Grok 3 model is free and ChatGPT is paid. But currently I'm not sure. I'm adding new AI tools to my tech stack that can help me be more efficient and productive. And apart from this, I use Pinterest as well, generally for graphic design and art. I love both art and design and I like to design something that contains both of them. Pinterest not only helps me with brainstorming ideas but helps me be more creative as well. And here are the tools that I use on a daily basis as a product designer designing in a SaaS company. Now, let me know if you are using any tool that can help me as well and we both can grow together. If you like the video make sure you hit that like button. If you are new to the channel do subscribe and share it among your friends. And see you till next time. Oh